Uh, hello and welcome to this next Salt and Grange review. I'm Dan, and this is a, a Hornby uh, B17, which actually stinks, but never mind. Um, now, I bought this local. It's tender driven, it was brought out in the early 90s, and unfortunately the one I've got here was bought by a bloke called Barry. And although Barry admits, I don't know whether his name actually was Barry, I may, I may, may back it up. Uh, admits it's a lovely locomotive, he has to spend most of his time adapting it to make it look better, when all it gives off now is an atmosphere that he was a sad git, and it actually stinks of coal dust. Happy to me. Sometimes I think it's a cameraman, it's not actually this. So if I get it out of the box, these are the very early, if I just put that to one side, these are the very early type of Hornby box. Uh, as you can see, there's there's no uh, sort of cage to keep the to, to keep the logo safe. It would roll about, and there's no box interior either. This is all it came with from its old life. Probably with a nice, polite, hardcore railway modeler, and now it's come to main. It's just probably wants to commit suicide. So I just chuck that over there. Uh, we'll do the tender first because it's tender driven. Uh, the B17s were designed by Sir Nigel Gresley of the London North Eastern Railway as a method of hauling the expresses from London to Liverpool and London, uh, not Liverpool, what's the other one being with L? Leeds. That's the one, Leeds. Um, London to Leeds, but he didn't want to use one of his larger Pacific locomotives because these were designed, I think it was the um, late 20s? early 30s, around the same time as the LMS Royal Scott class locomotives. Um, and these were relatively unthought of because sort of two of them were rebuilt with A4 style streamlining which didn't make them go any faster, it just looked cool. And ten of them were rebuilt by Edward Thompson who seemingly Edward Thompson didn't actually design any of his own locomotives, he just rebuilt other people's. Oh no, he designed the L1, but that was about it. Um, obviously this one is Liverpool, I mean they could have named it after a different football team, and it is number E1664. The E means exchange, so this locomotive was used in the exchange trials of 1948 when locals from different parts of the country went to different regions. So this one might have gone to the southern region and worked alongside the uh, the Monsal schools class, things like that, or might have gone to the southern, just said the southern, I meant the LMS, and worked with the Royal Scots and the Jubilees and the Patriots, or it might have gone to the Great Western Railway and worked alongside the Halls the manners and the um okay, the kings. I think the kings, not the castles, it's the kings. It's the kings? Yeah it's the kings. I've said kings too much now, it sounds weird. So E1664, this is obviously just after the war, um, because it still carries its wartime number, which is 1664. But there's British railways written on the tender in well I I would say that was yellow, but apparently it's cream. Uh, it's been weathered very heavily, you can see along the boiler and along the wheels, which is very good. Uh, but does the cab, no the cab door doesn't open, obviously this lock was about 20 years old. Uh, I would show you it running, but uh, it's broke down, so I can't. been weathered, and that is actually, if I look, that is actually real coal put in the tender, and it absolutely reeks. Uh, but this is, I mean, if I look on the other side, a nameplate has actually uh, exited the local quite vividly. Um, so it's not really Liverpool, it's more just this on the other side, it's Liverpool on the, it's running on this side. Um, this is quite a good local, I mean, these were used for secondary passenger trains. The word, the word mixed traffic, although the word trialled on, on freight, 
I think their power classification was 6P5F or something like that. They weren't, they weren't the strongest locals in the world. But these are very good. And this is a very good model. The tender though, it's tender driven, but the tender is too long. Excuse me. The tender should be shorter because the tenders on these were relatively small because they didn't need to hold a lot of coal because they were only going sort of short runs like London to Leeds and back and they would top the tender up at Leeds anyway even though there was sort of half left um, like I said obviously it's tender driven so this just bit rope just rolls along but these locomotives sadly none of them were preserved but there's not one replica being built there's two there's a replica of, of the first of the class 2800 Sandringham, named after Sandringham House, is being constructed and there's a replica of one called... What's a football team called? I, I don't know much about football. Uh, Ferguson runs it. Manchester. Manchester United. Um... But one of them apparently is just going to be static, the other one's going to be running to mainline condition. So it'll be fun to find out whether Manchester United will be king of the mainline as well as of the football league. Or so they think. So all in all, this is a very, very good local. Obviously, you, not to sound too cocky here, but you won't be able to buy this because I don't know whether there's another one in existence. But... Uh, if I can get another name kit for this on Fox Transfers or HMSRS, HMRS, HM, the other transfers website that's got lots of letters in its first name, uh, Liverpool will have two nameplates and this will be great running behind Teaks or Mark 1s or possibly like a fitted van train or something like that. I mean, one of these locomotives was actually, in BR days, designated the Royal Locomotive. Number 61670, I think that was the number, but I know its name was Royal Sovereign. But that wasn't the one used in the funeral train of King George V. That was Thorpe Hall, because Royal Sovereign failed a couple of days later, and Thorpe Hall double-headed the funeral train with the brand-new-built BR standard locomotive. Britannia, called the body of King George the, not, not George the Fifth, George the Sixth, the Queen's father, um, to his final resting place. Obviously, to do that, the roof would have been painted white, to show to the signalman that a member of the royal family was on board. So I'm going to stop waffling on now. Uh, this is a very good locomotive. The B17s, the new B17s by Hornby are very good. I would advise anyone, if you can get your hands on one, do as quickly as possible. And cut.